In this lesson, we will learn about the various types of drawings we will encounter as aviation maintenance technicians. It is not all inclusive of everything we do know on the topic. Additional information can be found in Chapter 2 of the General Aviation Maintenance Technician's Handbook. Working drawings are the most common type we will experience as AMTs. There are three types of working drawings detail, assembly, and installation. Other types of drawings we will learn about include sectional, exploded view, and block diagrams, logic flow charts, electrical wiring diagrams, pictorial diagrams, and schematic diagrams. A detailed drawing is made for every part in an aircraft and includes all of the information needed to construct the part. Here is a simple example of a detailed drawing. Everything needed to construct the part is depicted, including dimensions and the material the part is made of. An assembly drawing demonstrates how a number of separate parts come together in a unified assembly. Here we see an assembly drawing depicting the various parts making up a filter housing. Installation drawings include all of the necessary information for installing a part or assembly into the aircraft. Here we see an example of how all of the various components of an external power receptacle are installed. A sectional drawing is obtained by cutting away part of an object to show the shape and construction at the cutting plane. A revolved section shows a different view of a simple part.
A removed section shows a view of an object as it would appear straight on if it were cut away at that point. Here you see examples of both revolved and removed sections. A complete sectional view is used to show the relationship of interior parts in a complex assembly. A half-sectional view is useful in showing the relationship of interior parts to the outside of the assembly. Here you can see examples of a half-sectional view and a full-sectional view. An exploded view is a pictorial drawing showing two or more parts that fit together in an assembly. It shows the individual parts and their relative position to other parts before they are assembled. Here is an example of an exploded view drawing showing the relative position of the various parts as they would be assembled. Block diagrams are functional diagrams where blocks describe the functions of a unit and their relationship to other units in the system. Arrows indicate the direction of information or sequence of events. Logic flowcharts aid in troubleshooting a system.
Here we see an example of a logic flow chart where the rectangular boxes explain their procedure and the diamond shaped boxes indicate an action based upon an answer. And electrical wiring diagrams specifies the wiring and components in an electrical circuit. On the schematic shown here, we can see the wire gauges and part numbers for switches, circuit breakers, and the other electrical components, as well as how the components are connected electrically. Pictorial drawings rely upon pictures of components in a system rather than symbols to aid casual observers' understanding. Here you see an example of a simplified pictorial drawing of an aircraft electrical system. A schematic locates components with respect to each other within a system. Here is an example of a schematic showing the components and fluids in a constant speed propeller system. 